Hi, my name is Alexander Knopp and this is Introduction to Mathematical Reasoning. In the previous videos we discussed proofs of mathematical statements. In this video we are going to make a step back and discuss what is the mathematical statements. We are also going to discuss how to construct a more complicated statements from a simpler ones. So, mathematical statements is a declarative sentence such that this sentence is true or false and it cannot be both at the same time. For example, 7 is odd is a mathematical statement because it's definitely true. 1 plus 3 is equal to 7 is also a mathematical statement because it's definitely false. Note that it's false but nonetheless it's a mathematical statement. And it can be something like my mother is from Neptune. It doesn't seem very mathematical, but it's a mathematical statement because it's a declarative sentence and it can be as true or false. I mean, probably false, but... So why some sentence may not be a mathematical statement? It can be self-referring, such as this sentence is true. We cannot determine if the sentence is true or false, because if it's true, then it's true. If it's false, then, okay, it's false. Or it may use something undefined. Like x is equal to 7. Unless we define what it, we mean by x, we cannot check if it's true or false, so it's not a mathematical statement. Or it may be something like 32 is special. I mean, again, we use the word special and we don't know what it means in mathematics. So we cannot say if it's true or false. But note that the word odd is a mathematical term, so we can use it. In everyday speech, we quite often construct complicated sentences from a simpler ones. In mathematics, we do the same. We use sm simple mathematical statements in order to construct more complicated ones. In order to do this, we use connectives. The first example of such a connective is called AND or conjunction. And it's an analog of everyday speech AND. For example, we may say 7 is equal to 1 and 2 times 2 is equal to 4. In this case, it's false because we know that 7 is not equal to 1. We denote this connective like this. So we write P, the arrow, Q, and it means that P and Q. And the operation can be defined in the following way. So if you know P and Q, if both of them are true, then P and Q is true as well. In every other case, it's false. Because if Q is false, then obviously end of these two statements is not true. If P is false, then again, it's not true. If both of them are even false, it's still a false statement. The next example of a connective is OR or disjunction. So example of this connective is 7 is equal to 1 or 2 times 2 is equal to 4. This statement is true since 2 times 2 is actually equal to 4 and we don't care about the second part. We denote it as P or Q with er downside arrow and the value can be determined as follows. So if you have P, Q, and P or Q, then the trust value are the following. So if P is true and Q is true, then their OR is true. If P is true and Q is false, it's still true statement. If P is false but Q is true, it's also true. And if both of them are false, the OR is false. Note that in everyday speech, I may say something like, I want to eat bread or 
caviar. It means that I don't, I don't want to eat both of them. I want to eat one of them. But in mathematics, it's OK if both of them are true. It's still a true statement. The last example of a connective is not or also known as negation. So example of this may be something like 7 is not equal to 1. So obviously this is true because 7 is actually not equal to 1. And we denote it as not p. Sometimes people also write it as like this. Um, so we may define this operation like this. So if you know the truth value of p, it's maybe true or false, then the negation of p is the opposite. So if p is true, then the negation is false. And if p is false, then the negation is true. In this video, we discussed propositions and connectives. In other words, we discussed what is the mathematical statement and how to describe them. In the next video, we are going to discuss the main object in mathematics, sets.